Okay, uh, thank you for joining me again. I am going to continue with the theme that has been, is, is my theme for this week, where I mixed up all these really nice, bright, vibrant, tropical colours and um, doing different pours with these colours. So I've yesterday I did the tropical garden um, today I'm going to do, um, well, I was thinking that it was going to be a tropical pour underneath the sea, but I'm thinking that I would like this one to come out like fireworks, like bonfire night or firework night, the bright, vibrant. This is a 60 by 30 canvas with the giant push pins underneath. So I am, um, hopefully that's um, able for you to see. So I'm going to start off with these really nice, bright, vibrant colours, which I'll lay the orange down. So this is, these are all global at the moment. I'm told that global are not selling paint. I'm not sure how true that is. I mean, I've uh, bought the several of the two litre bottles quite a long time ago, so I'm not sure if they're still making them. But yeah, that was just the orange in global. This is like an orangey red. It's called the, the cool, uh, I think it's, yeah, no, the warm red, warm red. So I'm just laying all these gorgeous, bright, vibrant colors on. So this is my theme for this particular week, is the vibrancy carnival. So yeah, that's what this could be. Hopefully heading that way is the carnival. Carnival colors, that goes so, and I will, okay, add some of that nice bright green in there, which is called green light. Just again, pouring in this wiggly fashion, because I will be tilting it. Okay. Some more vibrant something so this is the cool red which kind of looks like magenta remember you don't have to fill in all the spots because remember we're tilting it and then this is the cool yellow bright yellow it's not really nice bright vibrant colors not sure if it's looking so vibrant on the camera, but they really are gorgeous, vibrant colours. All of the, um, my pouring medium and how I mix them will be in the introduction to the YouTube video, as I normally do. So that's looking really quite vibrant. Just add, I just want to add a bit of white in there. because I'm going to swipe with the last bit of navy that I've got left. So don't ever, as I've said to you many times before, don't be shy about swiping in any other colour other than black and white because the um, other colours bring out, oh, just just so nice to swipe with, with, with navy, with red, with dark green, with burnt umber. I'm just gonna, this is a crimson that I had. I'm just going to give it a couple of swirls because I know this also comes out very nice when it's um, end result. So just give it a few swirls through there. Okay, that's more than plenty and I've still got plenty enough paints to do at least another pour. So keep on with that. Okay, oh look at those, they're definitely a carnival of colours aren't they, they're just gorgeous, bright and uplifting colours, that's what I decided to go with this week, bright and uplifting. I look at the news and hear of so much tragedy and sadness that I just led into this studio and picked out the brightest, most uplifting colours that I could find because I was sick of hearing all the bad news <laughs> on the TV. So I'd much rather be out here and 
creating something that's making um, me feel uplifted and optimistic about the future. And you see such bright and vibrant colours. Uh, it's just gently tilting. Don't worry too much, as I've said before, right over your corners because um, you can just use some of the runoff paint to cover your corners. There is plenty of paint on there, so just and then as again recenter your paint. Right, tilt off a little bit in the middle there. A few more of those bright colours up. Recenter it all. And then any lifting of the paint that you've got, just finger pop it on the corner. Run your fingers underneath edges that gather a nice load of paint for your edges so yeah there's so much paint runoff that you needn't worry about covering the corners with your tilt yeah that's covered I think yeah we're covered that's why it's just showing just washing my hands washing my donnies Now the magic will begin. The carnival will be revealed. Okay, these bright, vibrant colors. So it's a little tiny bit of navy that I have left over. So this will absolutely do the trick because we don't need much. I'm gonna pour down the center. Okay, that's enough, more than enough, I believe. So just grab your trusty swipe tool. If you haven't got one of these and you're using a paper towel or, or anything, I would suggest the plastic file dividers like, or wherever you can get a sheet of plastic like this because you can use them, then you wash them and reuse them several times, so they're great. Okay, just gently dropping your file divider into the paint by about a centimetre and drawing it closely towards you. Oh, that's, I can already tell that's going to, so nice. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll bring it to you. So no rush. Enjoy the process, part of the therapy. <laughs> Just your daily dose of relaxation. Okay, I'll go around the other side to... Oh, yeah. There you go, just about a centimetre. Drop it in and draw it towards you nice and slowly. That's a bit of, bit of paint missing there. It's all good. Just take your time, just enjoy it, enjoy it, that's all I say. Life will be calmer, your breaths lower and you'll feel energised. Oh, that was a little bit messy, Jill, but never mind, never mind, it's all good. That's absolutely perfect for a um, skyline. Uh, create a skyline on that. Of a, you could leave it like exactly like it is, and then put your buildings on it. The night skyline. That's gorgeous. See, that's developing its own little cells. As I say, it will just morph into its own thing, and all will be revealed is the ex very exciting part. I think it's wonderful. Okay, I've got my butane torch. I know somebody had put on that they've got a new torch and it's propane. I'm sure that propane burns a lot hotter and is more for, not for painting. I'm not sure, I'm going to find out about that. But, so just my flame isn't actually hitting the canvas. I know it looks like it when I've looked back, but it doesn't need to. It only needs to get 
Oh, just touch it for a second. That's all I need to do. Like I said, when you leave these um, dark areas from the swipe, that creates some negative space or it outlines your cells, which is really nice thing too when they're finished. Oh, look at those coming up. Oh my goodness, that is definitely carnival. I'm gonna leave that. Oh my goodness, so nice. <laughs> oh, I'll try and see if I can give you a close up because those are absolutely gorgeous, definitely carnival colors. Oh yeah, it's not nearly as nice up through the camera lens, but if you can see, oh, those are gorgeous cells. Absolutely gorgeous. So bright and vibrant, and it's certainly not showing as bright through the camera, whether it does come. Oh, those are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Really happy with that. Okay, while I've got you with me, i will just maybe do one or two balloon kissing. If it's uh, too wet, the paint will fall in. Sometimes it's a good thing that you put the balloon on it because then you leave it and it helps the cells to morph into butterflies or whimsical things. Um, as I had happen yesterday, a lot of people pointed out, oh, it looks like a parrot in there. And so you can do it when it's quite wet if you don't want it to look like the traditional balloon kiss but you can do it and it will morph it will make the cells morph and go into um, well it creates a whole little world of its own so I'll do a quick few balloon kissing for you um, two straggly looking balloons left this little green one that's so deflated but the big one I'll just give it few and see of course then you bring out the carnival look at that it look like fireworks because there's such bright and vibrant colors in there oh my goodness so it is nice if you want to just leave it with the cells but if you want the whole light to turn into something spectacular because of so many bright colors under there yeah, it is a little bit wet and so I would prefer to just leave it a little while um, but that's up to you guys. You can leave it or continue on with your balloon kissing. But this is the way, all those bright colours that I've layered under there, this is the way that they will show themselves. They'll just come through, jump through. So little tiny balloon, it might do it, little tiny flower or as I'm trying to get the look is carnival, so fireworks more than anything. Some little tiny ones in there. Oh, yeah, it's very wet. So I'm going to leave it and it will morph a bit and then I will come back and either add to the video or I will just leave it at that for you to decide. But that is really, really bright, really vibrant and I love it. Love it, love it, and love it some more. Ah, oh, yeah, that is, oh, it's so cute. Very cute. Okay, thanks for joining me. Um, hope this fit, makes you feel bright and uplifted as it has done for me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or you'll find me on my Acrylic Art by Julie Cube Facebook page or Instagram. Thank you.